What's up, ladies and gentlemen, and one and only James Williams, Dark Waters, and I am what they call back. And guys, I told y'all that I was going to keep on digging into this Lake Lanier thing and the depths around Lake Lanier and this notion that the reason why them people drown in that Lake Lanier is because the lake is cursed. And I think I can go ahead and confirm that there's some curses on that lake right now. And then the next thing is, I said, I want to know, because I do really want to know if it's the Native Americans that's put the curse on the lake, if it's the black folk that put the curse on the lake. And I tell you, I started doing my research with this brain right here. Stank on ambassador uses his brain. He put some criteria in place because everybody be wanting to sit around here saying they just be saying stuff. They just be repeating what everybody else say. Ooh, Lake Lanier is haunted and it's the black people that's killing the people. Ooh, Lake Mead is haunted and it's the Indians killing the people. Ooh, Lake Powell is haunted and it's the the it's the aliens killing everybody. But they only have no criteria. They don't have no critical thinking process. So yeah, that's what Stank on and brought back to the table. A little bit of critical thinking, a little bit of research. Sprinkle a little bit of that in there, like make a little gumbo. You know what I'm saying? Like we do down here in New Orleans, make up some gumbo. I don't be eating everybody red sauce. That's 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 serious. Don't be eating everybody red sauce. In fact, you really shouldn't just eat anybody gumbo because there's too much stuff that go in the gumbo. You understand what I'm saying to you? Is you listening to what I'm saying? Can you smell what the rock is cooking the pineapple and the children? So let's get this started. Lake Lanier. We did a whole video on Lake Lanier. We came to the conclusion that 700 people died. A whole bunch of people died. Then we came to the next conclusion was that it was because they had Cherokee Indians that inhabited the land. And also they flooded out a whole bunch of black people and drowned a whole bunch of people. That's facts. Can't get around it. Cannot deny that. 700 people have died since that lake was flooded or since that land was flooded in 1950 was the first person who died and she went her behind in that water and drowned immediately. And there's evidence to it based on newspaper articles that you can go find on Google archives. And I know I'm just preaching to the choir, but I'm laying out my case before you, ladies and gentlemen. I'm just not just spitting stuff out the side of my neck. I'm laying out a case. So let me lay out my case. Next, I say to myself, I say, yourself. How we gonna figure out if what's happening at Lake Mead is due to the fact that they had African American African American people flooded there and they died there and all the misery and destruction? I said, well, I gotta go find all the other lakes that got the major deaths, right? Right. So I go looking, start digging. You know what I'm saying? If this was my shovel, let's dig, 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 and I decide that I'm gonna find the lakes with the most deaths. So Lake Mead had seven. I mean Lake. Lake 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 Lanier. Yeah, Lake Lake Lanier. Lake Lanier <laughs> had 700. So I find the next one, Lake Mead in Arizona, 300. But then I'm saying, okay, based on the criteria, let's see if they had Native Americans who were there. And yeah, they had a Native American tribe, Native American tribe there called the Puyot, Pay, Paiute tribe. They were there for thousands of years handling their business. You know what I'm saying? Then Lake Mead comes along. Now, when Lake Mead flooded, when they created the dam at Lake Mead, there wasn't no whole bunch of black people there. It was a whole bunch of white farmers and white settlers, and it flooded out their land and displaced them, right? So there wasn't no Negroes there. It was a bunch of Caucasians there. So I'm saying, okay, 300 deaths versus 700 deaths. Presence of Negroes, non presence of Negroes. Presence of Caucasians, okay. So I'm saying, all right, all right, all right. So then I go to the next one, which is Lake Powell. In Utah, I'm saying to myself, who was that Lake Powell? Then was Navajo Indian and Hopi tribe. So I'm saying, okay, so we got Navajos. Let's see if we got any black folk there. Nope, 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 no black folk as we know it. Now, there's the discussion as to whether Navajos were the original Indians were black like me. I'm not. I'm not about to have that discussion with you. For the context of what I'm talking about, this is what I'm talking about. I'm talking about black people. I'm talking about traditional, what we believe as Native American people. So if you want to have the argument that the black people is the original Native American people, whatever, have that argument. For my criteria, for my research, that's not the criteria I'm using. It's not the criteria I'm using. That may be what you believe. There's evidence to that, and there's evidence that does not support that. But for my criteria, this is what we're looking at. 
And so, nope, Lake Powell, mm -mm. no, no black folks there, no Negroids uh, at all. So I'm saying, all right, so we got two lakes that was man-made. They got deaths, right? A whole bunch of deaths. But you got the absence of the black folk. Then you got one lake that's got the presence of the black folk got the presence of the Cherokee Indians you got the man-made dam and you got the floods and everybody that get in that water be dying damn near. 700 people I said to myself I said self you gonna have to come to a conclusion you have to come to some kind of conclusion here and I think the only conclusion you can come to is I, I really think it does have to do with the black people dying now but then I'm saying to myself, I said, self, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. But let me, let me, stop, pause. Let me slow it down. Just let me verify something so you understand. All right, this is what's going on at Lake Me, like, Lake Me, like the last five days. Breaking news alert. Breaking news here at noon. The National Park Service has recovered the bodies of the two men who were missing at Lake Mead. They were found in the Colville Bay area. The National Park Service says the men were boating with friends at the time and they went for a swim and did not return. The identities have yet to be released. News now. So we established that they died everywhere. A California man drowns at Lake Powell. Trying to rescue a child, authorities say the family rented a boat and stopped in a cove to go swimming when one of the child, uh, one of the children rather, began to struggle in the water. Well, that father, he jumped in to help, but then he went under. 49-year-old Phil Chang of Palo Alto was found 10 minutes later and could not be revived. Authorities say he was not wearing a life jacket. All right, so let's be clear. And right, let's be clear. People is dying. It ain't nothing to take lightly because this is life and death we're talking about. So I want to be clear. I ain't joking about these people dying. So people is dying and they're dying all over the place. But there's distinct differences between these lakes. And I have to say, I'm going to have to get in line with everybody else that's been saying that the reason why at Lake Lanier people is dying is because they flooded all them black folks out of there. Now, I don't know what kind of hoodoo, voodoo, voodoo on, what five African powers, magic, somebody whatever was there working. But uh, I'm going to tell you like this for sure. If I was black, if I was white, if I was Chinese, if I was Mexican, if I was Japtalian, if I was Kablasian, my black behind, my behind period, would not go to Lake Lanier because something bad is going on in them waters for sure. And the disparaging numbers, 700 deaths to 300 deaths to 150. I mean, it makes a statement. We go from 150, we double to 300. Go from 300, we double again to 600 plus another damn 100. So that's a huge increase. And I'm just going to say it to you. There's no doubt in my mind that Lake Lanier is under some kind of magical curse. And I'll tell you what I think it is now at this point in time. I'll tell you what I think it is. Because I was looking at some of the stuff that the magic that's used down here on the Mississippi River there's a mermaid called Mama Nu that people serve. It's really a catfish spirit called Mama Nu that lives in the river that they service the altar to Mama Nu. And I'm thinking, y'all got some of that Mama Nu up there. This series, I ain't playing. It's called Mama Nu. I think y'all got a little bit of that Mama Nu in Georgia. A little bit of that Mama Nu. Catfish slash mermaid. Going in there, pulling people under the water. Stay out the water, homie. Stay out the water. Listen to your boy. Stay out the water. I know what I'm talking about.